the shoebox. Today I'm at my church shoebox packing room and I just wanted to show you a few things that I'm doing right now to make packing shoeboxes a lot easier later on when I'm packing a lot at once. The first thing that I've been doing is I've been taking all of my toys out of the packaging as soon as I get them from the store. So this is where I keep my Barbies and dolls, small dolls, not baby dolls, um, in a big tote in my room. And I take everything, like I said, out of the packages. Um, as you can see, um, this Barbie doll, she's out of the package. I just put them temporarily in Ziploc bags just to protect them and keep them separated. Um, every Barbie with accessories that comes with her is inside of a bag so that when I put them in a shoe box, all I have to do is select a Barbie and just pull it right out and put it in the box. So like I said, I have a whole thing full of Barbies and Barbie accessories. Also in this coat, I have um, some of the horses and I have them separated out to how they go in a box. I have two horses and the doll that's gonna go with that horse. And then like here's another one right here with two horses. This came in sets and the sets had all of these horses and dolls. So I just separated them out. Um, this one, one horse, some accessories, a doll. Just ways to separate them out so that they're easy to pack. Got the little, some little dolls, and these are all out of packaging and in bags. Um, and this tote over here, I have a lot of filler items, and they are all in Ziploc bags and ready to go. So again, I have taken everything out of its original packaging, unless the packaging is something I'm going to use to pack in two boxes. But this whole tote. It's just full of items. Some are left from last year, some are new this year. They're just, just full of items, ready to just be pulled out of the bag and put directly into shoe boxes. Um, that is my number one tip. As you get the items, take them out of the packaging and make them handy and easy to put in your shoe boxes. I now have this great shelving um, that my church has graciously purchased to help me organize all the things for our shoe boxes. And I try to, to some degree, organize things according to as I'm gonna pack them. Like over here is all of like the school supplies or most of the school supplies. Um, Kim, my friend, she was able to get 4,000 Ticonderoga pencils, which is amazing. They were all in packaging. And I went ahead and took all of those out of the packaging and put them in these boxes so that when I'm making the pencil packs, they are super easy to just grab the pencils, put them straight in the package. Um, I have crayons over here and just different things that kind of, you know, go along with it. Jumbo crayons, just different things. Um, I have my own bin just for pens. I took all the pins out of the packaging, put them in Ziploc bags, and that way just grab a pin or two for the shoe boxes. Um, I have specialty pencils all in their own, own bags and own area. Um, some erasers and some scissors just ready to go straight into the pencil packs. I do have the markers together that I have left from last year and they are still in the boxes. I will probably, some of them are, some of them are I use partial of the boxes or bags, but that's something that I do leave in the box because sometimes I do pack the whole set and use the box. So specialty pens all together right now, the ones I have so far and erasers. Again, I took these pencil top erasers out of the original packaging and put them all in the Ziploc so they're very easy to grab. Um, different kinds of erasers. I try to keep as many things together um, so that it's easy to pack. And again, it's worth it to me to, as I get these items, to get them ready to go as I get them and not have to get each thing ready as I pack multiple boxes. For example, these cute little tiny miniature notepads, these all had clearance stickers on them. 
don't love sending items with clearance stickers, so I went ahead and peeled all of those stickers off ahead of time so that they are ready to go. Um, I've organized different things, like all of the cups and water bottles are all in these boxes down here. Um, put notebooks in boxes. These are bead beads ready for bead kits. Um, coloring books all around here. And I've got these in some of these boxes I get from Aldi. If you have an Aldi or an Aldi, I know different areas of the country pronounce it, pronounce it different ways. Um, they have um, boxes and bins of their products and they just recycle those boxes and put them in a big heap and you can, they're free to grab. So I grab them and use them to organize my things. If you have a lot of things and you like have a packing closet or packing room at your church, I find that those are a free, therefore very cheap, economical way to store your items. So yes, I put all my coloring books in these kind of bins. Um, there are some things on my shelves that are just there. Um, these are, the tops and things they they are kind of like fillers but I do have them on the shelf because my bin is full um I have all I put all the stickers together as I'm taking them in and the books together these are all in the, all these things as well um these are some building kits put them all together they are out of the boxes um and broken down so that they're very easy to put in a shoe box all of the stuffed animals that we've got for this year so far these um, are in the Aldi bins as well. And I've tried to, the ones that I'm not going to keep the tags on, I've tried to cut the tags off. Most of them have the tags cut off. That's something you can do ahead of time. I do leave the tags on some of them that have names and things like that on them. Um, I've tried to put all the things together that are um, hygiene items in one area and sewing kits in one area. I've taken all the chapstick, Kim found chapstick for a quarter for packs of eight. I had separated them out um, into different flavors. So if I want a certain color, it's easy to grab it. And they're all ready to go. And um, just the first aid kits and I've got combs and toothbrushes and that kind of thing all in one area. And I have taken the Legos that I had in kits, like that came in big kits and in small kits, taken them out of the boxes, separated them out so that they are completely ready to put in a box. They're each in little Ziploc bags in here. I can take them out and put them in a box, make it easier. Uh, what else have I done ahead of time? Just to keep everything organized as possible, it helps. All the flashlights I've got in one place, um, including these really cool ones Kim got that are the, they're in a box, but they're the little crank ones that don't require a battery. And just everything in a place where the similar things are together helps a lot. Another thing I'm doing right now is I'm separating out all the clothes that come in into the age categories um, two to four, five to nine, or 10 to 14, boy or girl, and putting them in a separate, separate box or tote. Um, I'm also trying to take the price tags out. So this one says boy two to four, and um, I do leave the tags on, but the price part I do take off. I try to do that as I get them so that I don't have to worry about that and I can put it straight in the box. It is up to you. Some people remove all tags. Um, I do like to leave tags on so that they know it's new, but I do take the prices off. I also unpackage, and I have been unpackaging, all socks and underwear. Um, and I go ahead and label it, girl two to four. The socks have um, all the little ties that tie them together taken off, so it's super easy just to grab it as I need it to put it in a box. And this is the same with the underpants throughout the package and they're labeled so I know what um, what age it is so I can just grab it and pull it out of the box. I also have this, it doesn't look very organized, but it's the best thing I've figured out so far. Um, this large box heaping full of these bags are themes that I have going. 
the boxes that you've seen me unbox that are themed boxes start out like this. I just have these different bags, like I've got this really cool Rhea doll here, and I've set her aside because I will be doing a um, Raya. I'm sorry, I've been corrected on that. I keep calling her Rhea, but she is Raya. Sorry. Um, and just different things like I have right now only two things in this bag well two different kinds of things I have a fox stuffed animal and then this cute little outfit that has foxes on it so I knew I wanted to keep those two things together because I thought I will make a box that is a box box so that's kind of how it starts I start gathering things I find a couple of things that go together and I just continue to put those items in a bag. Um, it's a little polar bear hoodie and I knew I, was, I would use that for a polar bear box and here I've got a raccoon and a little dress with a raccoon on it so I knew those two would stay together and so on. So that might not look very neat but it is a way of organizing it for me. I know what's going on in there so that's how my themes start. Another thing I'm doing right now is I am taking all of the sunglasses that I get and I'm taking them out of the package and putting them in Ziploc bags. That way they are ready to go in a shoe box. They take up less space. They're in the bag so that they don't get scratched. I also, as I'm getting watches, and right now some of the Christmas watches are going on sale. It's a good time to look. I'm taking watches and taking them out of the packaging and putting them in individual plastic bags to keep them separate from the other ones, but they, again, they are ready to go right in a shoe box. Always take the packaging off when you get it because, man, it shaves the time off of actually packing a shoe box. It also saves tons of space. If I had all of these items in my room in boxes that they came in, wow, I would have stuff stacked up to the ceiling. So this is a really good space saver and time saver. Okay, and lastly, I'm going to give one small piece of advice that I have learned. The one thing I don't take out of its original packaging before I pack it in a shoebox are shoes. I I have found that I sometimes even lose a shoe digging through trying to make matches of shoes that I've taken apart so that they're ready to go in a box. So um, now I leave them clipped together. These shoes right here, just a heads up, at Walmart, at my Walmart right now, were $2. So now is a good time to look for shoes being clearance at Walmart. This is the beginning of February. Um, I really appreciate you guys watching. Thank you so much. And let me know what you do in your church or your house or however you pack, where you pack, what you do to make it easier on you, how you organize, how you get things ready to go. Just go ahead and let me know. I, I kind of, I'm curious. So I will see you soon in another video. Thanks for watching.